Welcome back to NAZ Today. I'm your sports reporter, Kate Gillis. And as we all know, NAU men's basketball had a resurgence last year, winning 16 games for the first time in six seasons. But if they want to replicate success, they'll just have to, oh, I don't know, replace three out of their top four scores. Thanks to the graduation of versatile big man Brooks to Bishop and the recent transfers of guard Cameron Satterwhite and forward Bernie Andre, who's heading to the American East Conference Powerhouse Vermont, a program that has earned an NCAA tournament berth in three of the past four seasons. Here's what he had to say to our very own Cristiano Ramos. Mark kind of just stood out to me the whole time. Um, they're losing their all player of the year guy who who's, we're pretty similar, so they kind of want to, they're, they're looking for somebody that can come in and kind of do what he can do to take them back to the NCAA tournament. And I feel like that's something I could do, so. I mean, they're a winning program already. And um, I think I could bring the same thing I kind of brought to NAU for two years there. Satterwhite also felt that itch for the big dance and verbally committed to Montana, a Big Sky team that has participated in the NCAA tournament the last two seasons. I mean, that's one of my goals to get back to the NCAA tournament and uh, be a big part of that. So I'm glad that I'm um, at least at a program that is accustomed to going to the tournament. Um, so I'm excited. And even with the departures, head coach Shane Burkhart is eager to get rolling with the roster that he's got. I'm very excited about our recruiting class. I am way, way, way excited about the guys that we have coming back who are committed to NAU. No hard feelings whatsoever. And again, we're going to be focused on the guys who are here. The objective of NAU's two transfers reflect that of NAU. Coach Burkhart says the goal is the same every year as it was for this last year. Quote, we want to play in an NCAA tournament. Now, the coronavirus pandemic has forced people to adapt, changing their way of living, and has demanded sacrifices from us all. A big sacrifice came from the athletes here at NAU who were directly affected. Two NAU athletes were stripped of the remainder of their seasons, one of them being the most dominant and decorated athletes NAU may have ever seen, looking to finish off his career in the midst of a historic track and field season. The other, a rising star in diving who qualified for her first ever nationals that she could not attend. Um, I still feel extremely honored that I made it, but not being able to go is definitely a letdown. The competition was over. I saw on the scoreboard that I had made it like in the place to go to nationals. And immediately when I saw that, I just broke down in tears. Like I was extremely happy because I think going to nationals or qualifying for nationals was like the biggest, my biggest goal that I had. We've only had three divers on the women's side ever make it to NC2As. That was, a, she was very disappointed. I feel so bad for the other students who are seniors and had qualified for just like the first time ever and they can't go at all. So that kind of breaks my heart more. You know, the whole entire NAU track and field team and the whole entire school were backing us up to try to do something big at these indoor championships and to have it be canceled on us. It was very disheartening, felt very sad, and I, it was the first time I cried in a while, not because I didn't get to compete, but it, but it was potentially could be my last time repping the Lumberjacks. It kind of puts you in a respect of like, hey, we shouldn't take this for granted. Thank you, Christiana, for being able to catch up with a three-time national champion, Tyler Day. Paige? Back to you.